So this is the first video um, I've done for a little while. I've been away um, for a few days and I haven't had a computer, which has been very liberating. I tried to see if I could live without one. Anyway, um, I've got a question about um, animation and uh, a, a demo with uh, Bootstrap Studio. Um, the demo that was uh, on about was this here, which uh, the uh, person who answered the question said that he liked the look of. Okay, so it's about like, um, if you go down on here, you'll see all this fancy stuff there. Okay, um, right. Which, you know, it looks, it looks fine. That's where it is. Um, as, I, as I replied, I, I said that uh, animation needs to be exercised with caution, which it does. With this one here, it's got bootstrap made, okay, and uh, I just, this is what it looks like on a mobile phone. I don't know if you can see that there. Yeah, okay, right. So you just click this here, the hamburger menu, the the hamburger menu that I absolutely hate. Ugh, UX designers and even web designers use this UX, um, this hamburger menu. They don't put menu, menu with it or nav bar or whatever. My dad, uh, my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, my aunts and uncles wouldn't have a clue what that means. So for I always, if I'm doing anything, I insist that menu has to be put on there. Right. So we just click that anyway. Okay, can you see that? Can you actually see a menu there? Because like you can hardly see the menu there. I know the picture would be different to what you would. You'd be base walking, but the actual thing just sticks there. You know, you. It's horrible. I, honestly, I've never in my life designed anything as crap as this. Right. Okay. The contact thing actually goes down. As you can see, after there's like a more of a yellow orangey thing that's there which says contact it's sticking the menu is sticking that's not supposed to stick that's supposed to go back in um just to the three bar thing so when when you're doing any animation i i, I do quite a lot of animation granted with uh, menus and that but i'm just given a, a definitive way of how to you know not go there's a, there's a book, an old book by, I think it's somebody called Michael Miller. And uh, I bought it years ago when I, when I was first designing, really. And um, it was about how to, to build absolute rubbish websites. But in the thing is, is that that is not to use it. So this, this exercise is good in the fact with, with the menu is how not to do it. Um, I would imagine a UX designer or, or a graphic designer has done this because um, I'll be embarrassed, you know, and, and it's not being critical. It's bootstrap made. It's made for mobile phones or smart tablets, everything like that. It doesn't work on there. It, it's just ridiculous. Anyway, uh, people who call themselves UX designers, about 90% of them couldn't design for toffee. It's because they kind of made it as web designs, I'm sure it is. But anyway, free download, okay, so we download this, uh, as you normally do. And I'm gonna put this in Bootstrap Studio, okay? And in fact, I already have. Okay, so what you do there, to do that is when you, I've put this on the desktop, as you can see. Uh, okay, so you just put the index in. You go into the folders, okay? So you just go into the folders. I've already done it, so you just drag and drop like that into Bootstrap Studio. Okay, so I'm not gonna do that because it's already there, it's already uh, figured out. So, okay, uh, so if you wanna know and, and you quite, you know, you, like, you say something that you really like, um, and I hate to be dissing this because I, I, what, what I mean, like when these, you know, what I want from this channel is to, to make you guys better at what you do and Unfortunately, when, when somebody, you know, like, uh, say something that they like, um, you know, I, I try to give a, a thing of, of the pitfalls involved in that. Um, and, and there's some sites that are absolutely fantastic, um, you know, but my critique on this is, is like, you know, I can, I can see 
uh, where where the uh, chaps come from because like uh, on PC or laptop it's it's all right you know I mean the it does what it does uh, which is anyway I'll go to preview on this okay so here we go so this is the Bethany, Bethany. Um, as you say there's no like image there that uh, there would have been and and when I was saying that with the wooden image with the one online yours of course would be different so you know i've got to take that into consideration um but anyway here it is okay so you got your home there you can't see the the uh, menu but you probably be able to see it although you might not even be able to i don't think you can because that because that's just the um that's that's just the picture i don't think you can see the menu because i can't there and it says feature right so go to feature no animation there right and and there's a reason why there's no animation and that's because we have to change things in here and bootstrap so we have to go down here on the right hand side okay right so the thing that you've got to change is the index so right okay Go to the index on here and find the editor that you use. Okay, Bootstrap Studio uh, is. Um, I wouldn't use Bootstrap Studio for this because it's really, really difficult. Use an editor. Okay, so I have. All right. So what we're going to look for in this, right, is we're going to look for the folders because remember, and this is not just Bethany. This is any, any website that you fancy. You can put it into Bootstrap Studio and then, like, you know, just do your own thing. So what you're looking for is JS, IMG, CSS, okay? So you look for this in the top and the bottom, okay? So you're looking for here at the top. So here we have the CSS. So that's the folder which contains bootstrap.min.css, the ones that you've been putting into your, um, your Bootstrap Studio, which is, say, Right, okay, so there's bootstrap min.css. That is on the folder, so you've got to take the CSS off that, if you understand what I mean, to make just bootstrap min.css. Remember, computers are ignorant, they don't haven't got a clue what they're doing, so you've got to, this this is in a folder which is uh, CSS. So we'll take that away, okay. On this um, I use HTML kit tools, and this has a fabulous little Tooly thing, right? So you just go Control I and just control, does this, and then you delete it. So it deletes all that little section, which was font awesome dot min css css dot animate dot css. So it's taken all the folders, um, all what was in here, and that's now pure, if you like. All right, okay. Go to the bottom, okay, and this is where your JavaScript is, and take away this as well. So you just JS, all right, and just do the same trick. Yours won't have that though. Okay, so just take so again, pure. That's what you're saying. Contact form, take that away as well, because that's in a contact form um, folder. Okay, I'm just going to take away a few IMGs here uh, where they are, do, 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 do. and this is just to see. Um, Go up, edit, um, find IMG. All right, so you see these here now the IMG ones. So this here, just take that away. All right, uh, just take that away. So it just gives like sort of you know um, a little bit of a what, what uh, just see the pictures as well, you know. So okay, I'm going to fire um, file save index.html okay so now everything will be uh, what I'm going to try and do is get everything that's animated um, put the index now in bootstrap studio okay again all right so now this is index for HTML okay so we just pop that on there preview this 
All right, so there you see the, the now the, the nice animation. And, and I've got to admit, I've, I've, on second thoughts, I uh, was a little bit dismissive of, of this animation. But it's quite, it's quite nice, but it's dreadful on mobile phones. It is, it's horrible. So there you see it all coming together, all right? And there's your portfolio. Now, there's images, um, well, there's images missed there here on there but there's the two in there all you would do is take away the img um folder from your file like i've just shown you in the index and your html editor or your code edit whichever one you use this is my preferred one at the moment and that's it really um so yeah but when um like us i've said before if you're going to use animation make sure there's a use to it okay I'm going to give two examples of what I think is absolutely fantastic animation. All right, and this is one called Ugly Drinks, which is um, orange water and stuff like that. Uh, I don't particularly like the product, but my wife loves it. It's just really sparkling water stuff, right? So when you look at that, I think, yeah, I mean, the limes are there for, for a lime drink and, you know, oranges and stuff like that. Uh, your berries there. Um, and, you know, and I think that's really, really cool. I think it's like funky, I think it's fun, and I think in them circumstances, I think that, you know, animation works well. Another one, which is something I absolutely love, is bounce balls. Found in the UK, uh, these are poor egg balls, um, gives you energy on the morning. So when you say make the product, so okay, um, I put these in, your, in the description just for you to, um ponder on and have a look at and why i think these things would would work you know so when you see um right okay so it's bouncing it's a bounce ball and it's bouncing okay so you you get this and throughout the site and that you and i think yeah that's i really like that but um yeah so so certain things work okay with animation this is the one i really love um bounce balls see it's like slightly bouncing up and down um and i think that really really is cool um but like like i've i say that you know like with all skills um i mean i did a uh, css course of just pure an animation a few years ago and it you know, I mean, like, sort of, somebody, say, for example, a client, and you've gone past the stage of just doing sites for yourself, and somebody says, can you do us some animation on that? And I think that, um, you know, I mean, like, if you want to take that, and you, you can do, it's just touches of animation that can really make a, a website too much, uh, but always look for the, the, the point of what you're actually doing. But make sure that everything, content is always king. Animation is the second thing. At least I would say a bounce and ugly drinks will, will still work whether it had animation or not. Because you're, you're looking for the product. The product uh, and bounce uh, circumstances I think is good product. I'd still buy it whether there was animation or not. And and the same with ugly drinks. My wife would still buy them whether that, that whether the website was, was rubbish or not. It's But that is... Of course, going to a nice site is, is brilliant. When you see UX designers, you often see a lot of fancy stuff. Um, but you, you're looking all over the place for a menu. And this is, uh, you know, this is not a rant, really. Although it probably is a rant. But, like, sort of, I've, you know, I've challenged UX designers before. But they never seem to get back to us, um, you know, on, on some of their stuff. And not, not all of them. You know, not all of them are bad, but but some of them, even some of the so-called top ones, are, are very poor at what they do. I think. Um, so anyway, bottom line is um, animation, but like sort of use it with a with a, a proper use that's needed. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.